In Lackawanna County, elementary school students tackled some real world problems in a creative way today. News Watch 16's Jack Culkin connects with students who are using science, technology, engineering, and math to change the world. Teamwork and months of preparation all led to 88 students from schools across northeastern Pennsylvania filling the gymnasium at Johnson College for the 2025 STEM Design Challenge featuring Connects. Working as a team to help, you know, make stuff, especially when the machine works, it's just kind of rewarding, you know, seeing all of your work, your hard work, because it puts a good use, you know? 25 teams from eight different school districts were hard at work connecting to solve real world problems related to infrastructure, transportation, or urban development. This keeps like the pedestrians safe on the road, like when they're crossing a street, and it also eases up traffic congestion. It was harder because we had a lot of different ideas, but eventually we figured out how to merge all of them to create this elevator. From designs like the Stellivator, which helps transport people who use wheelchairs. Now, did you guys think of this idea before, before you came here today, or was it something you had to whip up quick? Oh, but we thought, yeah. Yeah, we spent like a month or two on it. To the Pavenator. It just came to mind because constantly the roads uh, uh, have potholes, and like every winter this could have it, and it's instead of uh, getting like a bunch of people when the roads take forever, it would be one machine just going through, and it would take like, we estimated the time, it'd be like 10 minutes for a mile. And while not every team won first place, the chance to invent and have fun made the day worth it. It took, I definitely took the longest uh, to make, and um, I definitely think it turns out the best. And also, we're all friends, so, you know, we had a fun time doing it. The winners of the STEM competition get to go to the state championship at the Harrisburg Farm Show Complex in May. Jack Colkin, Newswatch 16, Scranton.